do something for 28 years and still enjoy it, hey, absolutely. That's something about it. So. 28 years? 28 years, you say? Yep. Wow, what's your name? James David. James David. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. you. I'm one of the people. It's not one nice to people? call the people names. Oh, one of the people names? It's not nice to call the people names. Didn't your mama teach you that? What's that? It's not nice to call people names. Oh, well, you know, that's, uh, I mean, it just does uh, Your mama didn't teach you that? Oh, no, she, she taught me plenty. Right. But, uh, you know, it's either sir or ma'am, or if you uh, No, those are name, titles. I don't have a title either. You don't have a title? I don't have a title either. Yes, you do. You're an officer. Or sergeant, or what is your rank? Lieutenant. Lieutenant. All right. Yeah, so you have a title. There's only two types of yeah, titles. I'm a man just like you are, so that's my title. Well, Human we're both being. humans. Exactly. But, um, you know, they say it's not nice to call people names, but it's more personal, right? Mm -hmm. And that's because we're talking about two different words here, people and person. Mm -hmm. So the Constitution, you know, it says people have rights. The first and the second amendment mm -hmm. and the fourth. Mm -hmm. The right of the people to be secure in their person. Mm -hmm. So if the people are in their person and they have the right to be in their person, then they also have a right not to be in their person. If that's, yeah. If, well, I mean, like you have the right to speech and you have the right not to make speech. Mm -hmm. you just have, like we have the right to be talking here and having this communication. Well, I have that's the right. Thing about it. Well, I have the right too. You think you have rights? Yeah, I have rights. I'm covered by the Constitution just like you are. Yeah, except that um, you traded your rights for powers and immunities and privileges when you voluntarily became a police officer. I mean, do you have the right to free speech right now? The right to free speech? Yeah. Uh, sure. Then how come you're forced to wear that uniform? I'm not forced to wear the uniform. I choose to wear the uniform. Well, while you're doing at work, you mm -hmm. have to wear it. Mm -hmm. So it's not a right. No, I chose this profession. Yeah, you volunteered. You mm -hmm. stepped into your person. And this is part of that, so, you know, hey. Right, but as long as you're in your person, you don't have rights. You have privileges and immunities. And you have the right to interpret that any way that, that you would like. Well, I mean, I think we're having a, a logical conversation here, but, I mean, do you have the right to religion right now? Sure. Well, can you preach it? Can I preach it? Yeah. I choose not to. Well, if you did, there would be consequences, right? Uh, that remains to be seen. There could be consequences, I should say. Don't know. Uh, any business or corporation has the right to fire That's you. Separation of church and state. Yeah, separation of church and state. So, but you've now also if seen it's separated, cards. you've also seen patrol cars within God we trust on there, right? Yeah, I have. So, would right. you call that a separation of church and state? Or would you call that them expressing their right of free speech and religion by putting that on the patrol car? Well, the government doesn't have any rights. Oh, see, I think we would probably agree to disagree there. Where does it say that? Where does it say that? Yeah, where does it say I'm that the government you, has rights? So apparently, you interpret things a little bit different than I do. Well, the 14th Amendment says that any person born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the authority thereof is a citizen and shall not be deprived of any privileges or immunities. It doesn't say rights or powers. How did we get into this debate by just... Because you asked my name. Mm -hmm. And then you... Well, and you then asked you, me my name, so it's just common courtesy for me to ask you yours and introduce myself. That's just... No, I mean, you have a policy that you're required to give your name and your badge number when, it, I'm, when, I, when you're asked. When I'm working, yeah. Yeah, when you're on duty. Mm -hmm. Right. See, so your right not to make speech has been taken away. Again, however you interpret that. Well, it has. I mean, it's a privilege now. Sir, See, privileges can you, be denied. You have a great day. I'm going to get it. You too. Maybe you should sure. talk to your assistant chief or uh, your deputy chief about this because they understand. Yeah, I'm good. Life is good. All right. What's your badge number? You take care. What's your badge, badge number? 1401. And who's your sergeant? I mean, you're, oh, you're a lieutenant. All right. Thank you. Master by the name of Bates. Smoking more than all 50 states. Combined, yeah, right, I gotta stay on the grind. I got no money, so my weed's on my mind. I hit the club, but you know I can't dance. Seven and seven in my cutoff chance. Had a shirt in my long ass hair. Well, part of how I look.